we have given at point 1, may volume tayo na 450 cubic centimeters. Also, we have pressure of 740 millimeters of mercury. Naka-absolute. Okay? Absolute siya guys. And then, we have a temperature at point 1 which has 20 degrees Celsius. So, the required required is volume at point 2. Kapag may binigay na pressure at point 2 na 760 millimeters of mercury na naka-absolute din and temperature at point 2 na naka-0 degree celsius so solution for this gamitin natin dyan guys yung ating combined gas law so P1 V1 over T1 is equals to P2 V2 over T2 so guys, dapat yung ating mga temperatures ay naka-absolute. So anong ginagawa sa mga arbitrary temperature? Kung naka-degree Celsius yan, magpa-plus ka dyan ng 273. So dito rin, magpa-plus ka ng 273 para itong maliit na T maging malaking T. So yung T sa buwan mo, so kung kanina ay naka-arbitrary yan, magiging absolute na yan, pati ito. Okay? So ang gagawin natin guys, substitute lang naman natin yung mga values. So, naka-absolute naman na parehas yung ating temperature, yung point 0.1 and point 0.2, so wala na tayong problema dyan. Substitute na lang natin lahat ng given values. Makuha natin yung V sub 2 natin. So, P sub 1 is uh, 740. So, di na natin sasama yung units guys kasi automatic na yung magka-cancel yung mga units niyan. 740 times volume at point 0.1 which is 450 divided by T sub 1. Yung T sub 1 natin, T na malaki na siya, sabi ko kanina, kaya magiging ano na yan. 293 na yan. Unit nyan is naka Kelvin. So, equals P sub 2, 760 multiplied by V sub 2 kasi yun yung unknown natin. Over T sub 2 which is 273. So, pag sinip solve mo yan, so, sinip solve natin yan guys sa ating calcu. So, galiin mo na mag-reset ng ating calcu bago tayo mag-solve. So, 740 times 450 over 293. Alpha calculate, kabilang side, 760 times x, alpha x over 273. So, ship solve, ship calculate natin. Ang lalabas natin ng value dyan is 408. Okay, 408.25. So, 2 decimal place tayo. Cubic centimeters. So, this is our final answer for our problem number one in our refresher notes of thermodynamics. So, we proceed to our problem number two. So, for our problem uh, number two, we have given a law of pressure times volume is equals constant. Okay? So, given condition po ito. Sabi dyan, may given daw tayo na pressure na 0.1 na 42 bars. Meron tayong given pressure at 0.2 uh, which has 2 bars and also we have given volume at point 1 which has 6 cubic meters so the required so the required is volume at point 2 so inihingi si volume at point 2 meron tayong given condition na PV is constant. So, meaning, PV is equals to C. Wherein, P1, V1 is equals to P2, V2. So, dapat mag-equal yung, uh, magiging sagot nito, 
sa kabilang side. Okay? Hindi niya si V2. So, solution para dyan. First, syempre, i-derive muna natin yung magiging final equation natin. So, from P1, V1 is equals to P2, V2. Obtaining the equation for V sub 2. Ang magiging final equation natin ay P1, V1 over P2. So, yan yung gagamitin natin equation dyan. So, ang gawin natin is substitute lang natin guys yung mga given values natin. So, for V sub 2, so, syempre, magiging unit niyan is naka-cubic meters din. Kasi, yung V sub 1 mo ay naka-cubic meters. So, yung P sub 1 and P sub 2 mo, okay naman yan kasi naka-bars na parehas yan. So, substitute. So, 42 bars. Pakita ko na rin sa inyo yung units kung paano nag-cancel out. V sub 1 is 6 cubic meters over 2 bars. Cancel out lang yung mga bars natin. Kaya magiging final answer mo ay naka-cubic meters. So, for our volume uh, at point 2, kung sabi natin sa calc, 42 times 6 divided by 2. Lalabas is 126 cubic meters. So this is our final answer for our problem number 2. Proceed tayo guys sa problem number 3. So for our problem number 3, we have given amount of heat of 4,000 BTU. So yung BTU meaning yan is British Thermal Unit. So transferred daw siya from a reservoir na mayroong uh, arbitrary temperature na 800 degree Fahrenheit. So kapuntang reservoir at point 2 na 200 degree Fahrenheit naman ng value ng temperature. So, ang inihingi, so required is the change in entropy of the system. So, solution solution for this so, change in entropy is equals to the entropy at point 1 minus the entropy at point 2. Bakit? Kasi sa point 1, nandun yung mas mataas at nating temperatura. Nakikita nyo sa given, 800. Yung sa ating point 1, sa pangalawa is 200 degree Fahrenheit. So, in order for us uh, to get the change in entropy, so ito dapat natin mga temperature is naka-absolute. Okay? Change in entropy. So, T sub 1, unahin natin. Gawin natin absolute. So, 800 degree Fahrenheit plus 460. So, yung magiging value nyan is yung ano na, absolute. Yung T na malaki. So, magiging 1,260. Unit is run kay. Sa so, point 2 naman, T sub 2, we have 200 degree Fahrenheit plus 460. So, hindi na malaki, 0.2, absolute, so 660 run kind. So, the change in entropy, alam naman natin na ang pinaka-formula guys ng ating entropy, ng ating heat rather, pinagmulan nito na, unit, na formula is T delta S. Okay? So, since delta S, is S sub 1 minus S sub 2. So, meaning, yung entropy natin is magiging Q sub 1 over T sub 1 minus Q sub 1 over T sub 2. So, yung heat natin ay hindi siya nagbago. So, there is no heat loss or heat gain in the system. So, meaning, at point 1 and point 2, the heat is constant. So, sige. Solve na natin. 
So change in entropy. We have 4,000. So neglect na natin yung mga units. Over. T sub 1, 1,260. And then, minus. Yung sa point 2 natin, yung heat natin is constant. So, minus 660. So, we solve for our change in entropy. Ang magiging final unit nyan is syempre, naka BTU per Degree run kay. Sige. Solve na natin. So, 4,000 over 1,260 minus 4,000 over 660. Siya ay negative 2.89. So, since sa ating choices, ay wala naman din unit na binanggit. So, automatically, yung sagot doon yung letter A. Pero kung titingnan nyo, ang magiging final unit nyan guys is BTU per Rankai. Okay? That is our value for our change in entropy in our problem number 3. So, we proceed to our problem number 4. Problem number 4, we have given pressure of 3,200 pound force per square foot and we have given absolute temperature of 800 degree Rankai. So we are asked to find the specific volume. So yan po yung kanyang symbol. Yung V na maliit na may oka na may usli sa magkabilang gilid. So, solution for this, so, pinaka the best na gamitin dyan na formula is yung ideal gas equation natin which is yung PV is equals to MRP. So, since yung ating specific volume is equals to volume over mass, so, itong equation natin na to magiging P the specific volume is equals to RT. So, yan nga yan. Yan na siya. Kasi itong M na to, lilipat sa kabila para mabuo mo to. Itong V over M na to. Okay? So, dun yun. So, gawin natin is, substitute na natin siya agad. So, for our V, so, derive na muna natin para hindi kayo mahirapan. So, R times T over P. Yun yung pinakamagay yung final equation natin. So, we solve for specific volume. Tandaan natin na, R, na ang R na ginagamit dito kapag English unit is yung 53.34. Unit nyan, pound force feet per pound mass degree run kain. Okay? Yan yan. Iba naman kasi kapag ano eh, kapag SI unit yung 8.3142. Nakatanda ko. Yun yan. So sige, tuloy na natin. And then, we have temperature absolute. Yung 800 degree run ka. And then, yung nasa iba ba, yung ating pressure na 3,200 pound force per square foot. So, tingnan yung mga magka-cancel na units. So, degree run kain, tanggal. Pound force, tanggal. And then, itong square foot mo, aangat yan, kaya magiging cubic feet na yan. So, therefore, yung magiging final unit mo dyan is na ha? Cubic feet or cubic foot per pound mass. So, solve natin. 
So, 53.34 times 800 over 3,200. Lalabas natin dyan is yung 13.34. So, 13.34 ay unit nyan ito. So, adjust ko na lang. Cubic foot. So, cubic feet per pound mass. So, this is our final answer for our uh, problem number 4. So, basic na basic lang yan. Gamitin mo lang yung ideal gas equation, yung PVMR. Okay? We proceed to our last problem, problem number 5. Problem number 5. So, may binigay na gauge pressure na 50 PSIG. So, may binigay din na barometric pressure or P baro na 14.25 PSI. So, the required is absolute pressure in PSIA okay na naka PSIA so solution for this basic na basic lang naman ang gagamit natin formula dyan so tandaan natin na ang absolute pressure is equals to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure so kapag walang binigay na atmospheric pressure at pang may binigay na barometric pressure pwede natin gamitin yung formula na absolute pressure is equals to gauge pressure plus barometric pressure. So, sige. Solve natin. So, for absolute pressure, we have uh, gauge pressure of 50. Okay. PSIG. Plus barometric pressure natin na 14 Point twenty five psi. So our final answer, na naka psi a, will be sixty four point twenty five psi absolute. So this is our final answer for our problem number five. So kung kayo may mga katanungan regarding sa ating mga sinol sa video na ito, don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Para kayo update sa aking mga next video tutorials na i-upload under uh, Refresher Notes in Thermodynamics. So again, this is Engineer John Digia. Maraming salamat sa panonood and God bless us all.